Hi all viewers, it's me here, V. It's March 18, 2017, and it's Saturday today. So, it's spring. It's gonna be here next week. So, i am decided to, to have a seed that I'm gonna be sprouting here in this container. And what we have here is okra, bitter melon, and um, gourd, and some Asian long beans. And on this side here is the Malabar spinach, the purple or the red one, and um, the little tiny seeds are eggplant. This is what I did for my better melon. I cut a little bit of um, skin in the corner. I'm using a um, nail clipper so the water all gets in and they sprout easily. So what I'm gonna do with this, I will just cover it with this another paper towel there you go and covered it up so today is the 18th and I usually put them on the top of my stove and in this container right here I plant this um, March 12 there is snap peas and some okra in this side right here but I see one little one snap piece started to sprout. And let's check the box. Right in this corner is a new seed that I plant. I have bunching onion and some three of in here are the moringa seed. And right here is the eggplant, the Asian long eggplant variety. And right here, this is the moringa. And this is the moringa. And these two are the eggplant that I plant um, since February. And right here is my okra that I plant last week. And they already start to coming up. That's my tomato, two of them, and I'm going to add a this one right here, the chayote, and another Asian long eggplant, and right here is my Malabar spinach, the green variety. And right here is the root that I um, plant. I'll see if this will grow. I just find this um, at the Asian market in my area. Hi, Brownie. Say hi. Brownie. And here's my tomato that I plant February 2017 from seedling. tomato and there's different variety of this tomato now I forgot what are the name of it because I forgot to label them so and this one here is the bell pepper and there's another bell pepper right there some more here bell pepper bell pepper Another bell pepper, and there's another one. So, as you notice that I um, wrap them with the bubble wrap that I have um, for some of the packages that I receive, I keep them so I can use them with um, to wrap the um, 
at for my plants so they don't get too cold when they're in my greenhouse but um, last night I bring them inside because we have a lot of rain and it's a little bit colder for them to be outside but if the temperature in the night time goes up to 50 I let them stay outdoor in my um, greenhouse and I just noticed right here that they're having I think this is like turning into flower or something but I'm going to take this out so I, I want them to be um, uh, focused on their roots not on the flowering right now it's just too early and here's the rest of my tomato sorry for the mess and here's the the bigger tomato that I have and I think it's been six weeks this is six weeks old tomato that I've grown from seeds and I noticed this one also started to have like almost like a bloom or something at the end of the plant but I'm gonna do I'm gonna sneak that out too because I want them to focus on the roots I want them to have a very strong roots and this one here is my sweet potato as you notice that there is some sprout going on here right there and there is some more and this one is the other roots that I buy from the Asian store so I'll see if that works I just want um, the leaf for ornament to this one they have a pretty um, elephant looking ear so I like I like this kind of plants so that's my update for today and um, thanks for watching and have a nice day and happy planting